So Tommy, we just saw you two weeks ago. What's, yeah. uh, have you had any good tacos since then? Okay, actually, yes. Yesterday they had little finger food, little tiny tacos, and they were like chicken, and uh, they were like little tiny, and they were super crunchy, and they were good, so yes. They had tacos at uh, the E3 play, but they were $9 for three, and they were literally just tacos with meat on them. There was nothing else on them. At, at what? At the EA play. Oh, well, there. That's your, that's your problem. <laughs> there, well, there. I, I found your problem down there. It'd take me six to eight weeks to get new tacos down here, but <laughs> if I order them today, which I won't, so it's going to be like another four months. <laughs> Who is this character? I don't know. He's like a taco supply man. He's the guy that comes to your house. It's like, uh, like on The Simpsons, he's like, well, I can fix it today if I order the part, which I won't, so it'll be like four to six weeks. <laughs> and like the basement's flooded like up to their angles, you know? But he's that guy. Okay, okay. I mean, they have them in Boston a lot. Oh, they got them in Boston, in Boston yeah. Like crazy. <laughs> I, did I hear you say you had you had a release date for this? No. You it's, said this year. Well, this year, yeah. I mean. Or next year? Well, yeah, I, I'm having a kid. It's never gonna get done. <laughs> no, it'll get done. Because like, because that fucking kid needs to go to college or something. We were just having that conversation where like it's gonna be reversed in your household. It's gonna be like, Dad, I want to play football, and you're gonna slam the table and be like, yeah. No, yeah, no football. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, yeah, actually, I would be fine if he played football because that's not terrible to watch, but I will ban baseball because I do not want to sit through a fucking baseball game. I'm not going to do that. I, that that's another subject of a where like the father's a dance coach member and he's like, you're doing dance and you're not doing sports. And he's like, but I want to do sports. Yeah, I, I don't want to sit through dance either. Uh, to be honest, I don't want to sit through much of anything. I hope he, uh, what, what would I sit through? I, I don't. I don't want to sit through. I don't want to be a father to him. I think that's it. I think that's it. It's like, I think Gomez from Adam's family said it best. I hope you have the joy of having children and paying someone else to raise them. I yeah. Well, if this does well enough, uh, I won't be in his life. I'll be. I'll be the father. Like, there'll there'll be a room in our house that is all oak or mahogany or something, and he's not allowed in there. He's not. And there's a desk, and uh, he he wanders in, and then I, I hit a button, and like the maid comes in, and he's like, oh sorry, sorry, Mr. Refness, one that, of those. That makes sense, because when you're making like Soup Boy Forever 5000, yeah, yeah. you can be all eccentric in a suit, and he'd be like, Dad, look, I made this game, and you'll go, hmm, very mediocre, and just hand yeah, it back yeah. to the iPad. Yeah, I'll go derivative, <laughs> and then I'll just hand it back to him. Yeah. <laughs> Destroy him on the inside, but you know it'll make him strong. Yeah, I do that, and then like he leaves, and I'm like, that was that was hard to say. It was really good. It was but a really I, good game. It's George Bluthing him. Yeah, yeah. It's it's the negative reinforcement. Let's not call it Sudden Valley. <laughs> oh my God, dude! It's it's been it's day negative. It's day zero, because E3 started on Friday for some reason this year. Yeah, did you come that? in on Friday? No, I I came in yesterday. Okay. We were here on Friday. That sucks. And you're probably here until Friday, right? Yes. Yes, that sucks. Why do you do that? But we just saw you a week and a half ago here it's too, like, yeah, so you came like, right back down. And then there's Comic Con. And I'm, then there's PAX. Okay, and well. There's QuakeCon. And then there's Gamescom. I want. <laughs> it just keeps going, man. You're not going to stop. Probably not. This, this is your life now, but it's you running and dodging conventions. Basically, I'm going to dodge uh, Comic Con and QuakeCon because. Yeah, I'm showing the game at QuakeCon. You should. That would be weird. We talked about that clan, Waifus for Laifu. That's a huge clan in, in QuakeCon. What, what is this? Waifus for Laifu. You know those big body pillows that they date? Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's a clan that dedicated to that at QuakeCon. Did you not? Well, you're bringing a child into this world. Okay. <laughs> the second he's like, I want you to meet my waifu pillow. <laughs> I don't care how old he is, he's kicked out. You, you know that guy that got sued out of his parents' house, like that 30-year-old yes, guy? Yes, yes, yes. Well, uh, we assume that our child will will have to sue him out of our home in 30 years, yeah. Yeah. yeah you'll just kick him off to a different story. A different story of the house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> different he'll, wing. He'll live in one of the sub-basements, because I'm not building upward, I'm building downward. Building downward, because that's different. No that one's is, doing that. Yeah, no, yeah, everybody builds upward. No one, no one, no one goes sub basement. All right. I really hope you do become like very eccentric with like the suit and just like, nah, everything's derivative. Yeah. That's derivative. That's terrible. That's okay. But yeah. this is terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some little shit game with like 
uh, like a triangle and some piano music, I'll be like, this is amazing. <laughs> I feel like that the developer of the, the creator of like not uh, Pac-Man's not like it, but something similar like a retro game in the '90s and the '80s that was huge. He's yeah. probably like that. He's like, well, I made Angry Birds. Let me tell you, <laughs> this game is awful. Yeah. You're like <laughs> the Angry Birds guy getting the lifetime achievement in like 20, 30 years. And he's like, oh. Yeah. He, he actually did say something about that. He made a comment about like a game like this is not how games are made. I should know. I made Angry Birds. And you're like, what? He said something. He said something similar to that. Jesus Christ. Again, for the second time, you're bringing a child into this world. Yeah, I don't know why. I shouldn't have. You just live on the moon with Elon, with uh, Elon and the rest of the people. I could live on the moon. They wouldn't let me on the moon. Or either. Mars. Live on Mars. I would go to Mars, but they're not going to take a type 1 diabetic to Mars. That's a waste of a fucking capsule. I remember I had a friend who's also a coder. He used to say, like, what are you doing to make this game more angled toward me? He's like, oh, you mean, like, your, your genre? I go, no, me. <laughs> Specifically, me personally, because yeah. I hate this right now. How can you fix this? <laughs> and then uh, it's you enter your name, and then you're like, oh, um, the main character is now called, you know, whatever your name is. I don't remember. What is it? Me, my name? Yeah, I forget. Oh, that's I make me sad, Tommy. I just tweeted at you two days ago. I know, and I'm trying to read. You're not busy. We're traveling I, nonstop. I don't remember the other guy's name either. Asif. Asif, yeah, I, I didn't remember his name. He'll be happy. This he loves these interviews. Yeah. We love it. These these are our crown jewel of Shaq oh, yeah. news. Yeah. I, I really hope you get to that point where like you're in a limo walking around at game conventions, rolling down the window and going, it's been done, and yeah. then roll out of this room. <laughs> just, that's that's another word of the day, derivative. derivative. Everything. Yeah. You'll be interviewing, you'll be like this all day with the cane, they'll be like, look at this, like they have wireless, computerless VR. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. derivative. <laughs> I want to come out on an E3 press stage and just go off script and just go like derivative and then walk off and then everybody's like kind of like when they clap for uh wh you need to go to the devolver press conference and just be you should ask reach out to devolver say can i be in your press conference just let me just give me five minutes of time and like pre-recorded i wanted to do a press conference but they beat me to it like last year i wanted to do and now now nobody else can do like a weirdo uh uh, press conference because they're like, oh, you're copying. You, you could evolved. though. You could like sit your computer with like you get like a really crappy webcam and be like, welcome to the Super Meat Boy press conference. <laughs> I'll do it in like in a Denny's. Yes, on a laptop. <laughs> on a laptop. Eating pancakes, just like yep. Yeah, yeah. What do you do on your birthday? Like what Cry. do you? Do you <laughs> Weep. Weep. Do, do, can you? Do you have? The, does your wife get you like a special like diabetic sugar free cake or? Well, such thing does not exist. And if it did, it would taste like shit. My birthday is actually in like three days. So. Happy birthday! Yeah. I actually don't like celebrating my birthday. I don't want the presents. Don't want the fanfare. Just want to be left alone. You can, you, you can spend time with your family, though. You know. Well, I spend time with them all the time. So. That's true. Yeah. Like I, my wife doesn't work, cool. and I work from home. It's not like we don't see each other. If I can see her all the time. Did she ever tell you to go away? My wife did that sometimes in the summer. She's like, go away. She's like, go bug your friends. No, my wife is the exact opposite. Okay. She she constantly wants me around. She mi she misses me as soon as I leave. It is exhausting to have someone love you that much. She's great, man. Then you're just a very lucky guy. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's cool. A derivative. <laughs> der derivative. <laughs> derivative relationship. <laughs> this relationship is derivative. Your mother, your son, your mother never loved you, and you're derivative, and you walk out. Oh, I'm gonna. That's his name now. Derivative. <laughs> Come here, derivative. Play this terrible game and let me know how it is. And then he goes, derivative. <laughs> he was like, it's great, Dad. No, it's terrible. Wrong answer. Go to your room. Do we have a release date? It's this year, maybe. That's the most cryptic answer ever. This year, maybe sometime. You should release on February 22nd, 2019. When you go to enough E3s, they become blurs. Yeah, you know, the like conferences are blurs at this point. They're like, I was like, I was here last year and playing this game, and my boss was like, Greg, that was four years ago. And I'm like, was it? I was like, oh my god, I've, oh my the concept of time is just fleeting. Yeah, and then time flows slowly here because they didn't give us chairs. Yeah, what is? They give you chairs at pre-E3 at least. I was gonna steal one of the Forza chairs. And they're out of water. Oh, they have more. Okay, more I see it right now. They have more. Good. That's good. They have more. Now. So when we review your game, will you quote us when it says derivative at Shack News? Yeah, yeah. So we gotta say that derivative dash dash nine out of ten derivative. <laughs>
Yeah, just say it's derivative. No one will get it but us, but that's that's the joy, the yeah. beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. Uh, these never get published, do they? Yeah, they do. This oh. is gonna this is gonna be even more serious interview. Oh, that's wow. That's what's gonna be. I did watch uh, the last one. Uh, you found pictures of the Costco frosting for Shaq News, man. Yeah. Shaq News gets it done. My wife wanted some. I'm like, I don't think we should get a tub. Why do we ever need that much frosting? And she's like, for the reason that guy said. I'm like, <laughs> to end it all? She's like, yes. Yeah. That's when you've given up all hope. Even if you're not diabetic and eating that tub of frosting, you're, you've given up on life. You've given up. I would love to eat some of that frosting. I think about that frosting way more than I should. Couldn't you like eat it and then stab yourself and then eat it and stab yourself? I could. But I'm never going to get the ratios right. Like it, it's gonna be miserable for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna feel like shit. It's kind of like when you're trying to like balance your homemade pool. You're like I don't know how this works. How many tablets? Five. I think that works. And your skin's burning five minutes later. It was too many tablets. It was too many. Sorry. This is an interesting problem because it, when you said tablets, I'm like, what is he? Because you're like you, chlorine tablets. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I get that now. But you're like, how do you balance your your pool out? Like how many tablets? And in my mind, I'm like pool uneven and he's slipping like he's got so many tablets from Shaq News that he's like leveling the pool out. Samsung just keeps sending me to yeah, him. We don't, I don't even want them anymore. I I'll just use them to level out the pool. I like developer tools. Do you? I don't. I make all my own. I actually thought you were like a robot corded into the display and you just like they just ship you in the crates like Basically, hooked yeah. up to this thing they, and you're just they like. They put me together. <laughs> And then they break me down, and I yeah, and then I get shipped to the next conference. You're like that that uh, that doctor of Futurama that makes the robot to do everything for him. Yeah, like the real Tommy Refness isn't here. It's not. He's he's at home. How's this robot work, Tommy? It's derivative, but it works okay. <laughs> he's not as good as me. <laughs> All right, man. Well, we're gonna wrap this insanely informative interview up, as our interviews usually are with you. Yeah, they are pretty informative. But we we did confirm this year or. This year, dot, 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 maybe. Let's just say this year. I'm gonna, can we quote you on that? Sure. You can quote me on anything. I don't care. <laughs> well, actually, don't do not do that. That would be bad if you just, anything you put said that I said it. Anything is possible. <laughs> Tommy. Yeah, yeah, you'll have a bunch of Hitler's quotes, and you'll just say it's by me. That would be, that would be mean and derivative. And derivative. The word of the month is derivative. Yeah. You think we're, we will put derivative in the interview? I mean, it's derivative. And yeah, the, yeah, and then the bold it. Yeah. Interview. And then yeah, compare it to all the other interviews we've done, and it is derivative. It is absolutely of every other interview that we've done. And I'm by myself, so if he's like out of frame, I can't see where the frame yeah, is. Yeah, I don't know if I'm in frame. I hope so. I figure I'm in frame because. Uh, I like framed it so it's like this. We'll figure it out. That's cool. If We're I'm professionals. Oh. Okay, let's let's redo this all. Yeah. Let's start again. Let's start again from the where, top. Where did we start? Derivative. Yeah. <laughs> Derivative. We started from. Oh, so what are you doing here again? We'll reverse it. I'll <laughs> say all the things you said, okay. and you say all the things I said. And uh, so. Uh, so what are you doing here? Didn't we interview like a week ago? Oh, uh, you did. And my game will come out sometime. Maybe I have a son and I want to eat 10 gallons of frosting, but I can't. Is it coming out this year? Maybe. Is it coming out this year? Let's say yes. Okay. I'm not good at interviews. Let's cut it. That's good.